Hey there, I'm going to show you how to use GarageBand for um, importing an MP3 into and then also recording on top of that. Right now I'm using a microphone that's set up, but you can also use your built-in um, speakers on your laptop as well. So we're going to open up um, an empty project. It's going to come preset with some things, so it's kind of a lie. It's not an empty project at all. I'm going to unclick a couple of buttons to unclutter, or sorry, to declutter what I have here. So I'm going to close this, turn off the metronome and the count in. I'm also going to get rid of the electric piano, but first I need to double click down below. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. We'll just click this instead. And now from here, I'm going to choose this microphone and you are going to make sure that you've chosen input one and two, which is going to be your built in input from your laptop microphone. I'm hearing sound from this aggregate device because this is the way that I can record my voice and also have the audio from the mp3 play. For you it'll probably be your built-in output. I would highly suggest you use earbuds or something like that so you can hear the background track um, without it interfering um, and being too loud over when you're recording. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm going to create. And now that's there. And now you can see my audio coming through. Maybe you can hear it as well. I'm going to click this knob that says Smart Controls. And I'm going to click the I, the Inspector. This is going to allow me to um, change my recording level. I can also choose Automatic Level Control. So that way it sets up this thing perfectly for me. I'm going to go back to my audio track and I'm going to secondary click or right click it and I'm going to choose track header component components and show record enable. That's really important. I'm going to add another track now. That's also a voice or audio track line input doesn't matter. Get rid of that. And now you'll see that if I click on either one, I'm getting an audio signal coming in. That's a good thing, but this is why you need to show record enable is because you need to be able to activate two tracks, two channels at once. I'm going to go to my desktop where I have an MP3 and all you have to do is just drag it and drop it. And now I don't need to have this on record enable. I just need this because I want to hear this recording so I can play on top of it. I'm going to play it now just so you can hear what it sounds like. And again, I can't hear what it sounds like, so just letting you know. There's the click in, and now it's playing. And this is the part where you can improvise and play over the um, 2 minor 7, 5, 7, 1, and the 6 dominant 7 progression. So in this channel, this is where you do your scooby doo dop dop with your instrument. Okay? I'm going to stop it. Um, so the next thing to do, well, actually I'll just do something ridiculous. Now I'm recording. This is my voice and I can see my voice recording. Scooby-dooby-doo-bop, scooby-doo-bop, 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 scooby-doo-bop. Basically just going to let this record. And let's just pretend that I've recorded all the way to the end of my track on top of my MP3. You can spend some time mixing it meaning you if this volume is too strong you can turn it down and then that will adjust when i play it back see what i just listen to see what i mean well hopefully you could hear what that sounds like Okay, now that this is finished, now let's just say our recording is done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this bottom track just because it's longest. If you're above recording, what you record with your instrument goes longer, then just click that. But you want to choose whatever is the longest running um, recording or the take that's in here. 
by the way, I just, you can zoom in and out if you need to right here. So I'm going to choose this, then I'm going to go to share and export song to disk. You can also add it right to SoundCloud. It means you have to log into SoundCloud, but since you have to do this anyway, thank you. Since you have to do this anyway, um, you can upload it directly there, or you can just export song to disk. I'm going to do that right now to show you what happens. And now I can choose, I'm going to choose MP3, 192 is fine. Title it with your name and then whatever it is. Um, let's see, this is two, five, seven, one. So there, now I'm gonna export it to the desktop. And this will take a little bit of time. Not very long though, cause it's so short. There, done. And now if I go to the desktop, here it is. And now I can test it out and preview it to make sure everything is working. And it's playing. So next thing to do is to upload this thing to SoundCloud account and then share it on the CAJ jazz ensemble page thanks for watching hopefully you figured out how this works if not email me thanks bye